goes on, especially with like the advent of Twitter and whatnot, people actually get to follow the characters that they like, and they make like little communities and stuff and Discord and stuff. So it's really cool. Good to, good to show support. Uh, Maestro, yes, the other cam is out of window, so imagine that you're peeking in on Paco's success. You feel me? Peeking into the drive through at Taco Bell. <laughs> That's the Paco you're looking cam. at the Chalupa. You're looking at the Chalupa. Oh, but look at that. Paco with, Paco with the, with the uh, Duck Knife is nuts. Um, I'm actually very excited. Snipe taking the. Uh, yeah, the I like that skin a lot. It's a skin that you don't really see. Like this yeah. Um, I mean, the mask is. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, honestly, uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, this matchup is going to be a little bit difficult, difficult for Inkling, uh, who does have better ground speed than uh, Dutch Knight. But uh, with all of the things that can be set up in front of her, the, the goal is to put fingers, hands, and paws on uh, Dutch Knight oh, yeah. before, can, before they can get anything set up. Oh, yeah, we're taking it back to Super Nintendo. Yeah. Bruh. And Shadow is calling out that aerial, just like, look, do not land it with the aerial. Don't get comfy. Don't get comfy. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a lot of the uh, roller disadvantage from the sniper. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think it's kind of difficult for uh, Duck Hunt to punish it directly. Uh, but, you know, if he's not paying attention to all these projectiles, it will catch up to him fast. Like right there, it was chilling right next to the, the, the exploding can. Yeah, I, li I actually like that. But if he gets hit with an F smash, it could extend the hitbox. True. Yeah, so all of these hitboxes yeah. are located in the pile. That was a nice disc to the up air from Paco. Right there. And, these uh, are I've two new faces, so I'm getting used to saying Sniper on Paco right now. I feel you. And we're, uh, we're being uh, informed of that because I actually saw when Sniper on Paco here, he had to switch with him. I think he's using a he's using a Joy-Cons. Joy yeah. yeah. You gotta respect this night box. He's putting up a good fight against Taco, who's still in disadvantage, and Duck in disadvantage is really hard. But we have not seen Snipebot really go outside and capitalize. He has one of the best upbeats in the game, so he can, you know, aerial at least twice before, um, before the upbeat makes it back to the Oh, an unfortunate SD. I hope that? that I really. What was that? He, like, grabbed the ledge and just. No. Um, and Loki, that might have been because of Joy-Con. Yeah, like sometimes... Wait, Paco is the one playing with the Joy-Con? No, Snybot is the one playing with the Joy-Con. And that's why he might have died while he was on play. Sometimes when you're just holding Joy-Con... Oh, that was, a down. Oh, that was a homie stock from Paco, then. No, he died. He No, he died. What? Yeah, no, he actually just died from uh, hitting the can. So he exploded, but Snybot got sent to ledge, and then he was hopping with Griff on his Joy-Con to try to that's Oops. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not to him, but yeah, that's it, it, it's rough. Well, as a point now, Snipebot is 68%. Paco looking very comfortable. Winning the parry, but not a follow-up. We have to see more follow-up from Snipebot. He wants to put up successful damage as an because their aerials don't do much. It's yeah, about how to. many aerials you get in succession. I agree, and I, you know, getting some more fastballs will help. You know, he's taking a lot of time to get to the ground, and, uh, you know, that up smash is a little bit faster. You a little bit closer. This won't kill with Boogie Eye, but Paco got stage control right now. Look at that back well, throw. Ooh, yeah, trying to hit it with the can, and I love this setup. The Bandito shooting. Oh! That was fresh. Yeah, that was fire. That was fire. Well done from Paco. Snipebot going down. 1 0 Paco. Uh, he's playing really, really well. I like his uh, duck hunt. He's covering a lot of common options from Inkling and uh, making his stocks last. Making the stocks last. Yeah, that was really nice and uh, definitely going to have to see uh, more follow-ups coming from Snipebot. It, it seemed like they were getting a lot of one-twos, but didn't get anything very powerful. And the best tool that Inkling has, in my opinion, is going to be their neutral air because if spaced correctly, you could follow up with back air, and back air, I think, is going to be tied with neutral air to be some of the best tools as English because they both follow up into each other so well. Agreed. And of course, the booyah percentage is down throw. Yeah, down yeah. throw out there. Like, that, that's, that's just, that should be. We said booyah, and I was like, what is yeah, that? Yeah, that's the booyah. Combo. But I was like, yeah. there's only one thing that Inklings are looking for. Yeah. Which is that, yeah. So, 
I mean, we would like to hopefully see that adaptation in game two. Snybot doing his best to uh, stay on top of uh, stay on top of Paco, but you know it's a difficult. Thing. Like I said, or like you said, like Duck Hunt is so darn good at running away, setting up, and putting damage on you for it. You know, an 83 on Snibot means Paco's doing his job correctly, trying to call out that uh, landing aerial from Snibot with an up smash. Whew. Look at this, you know, Snibot kind of struggling to land right now. Yes, he's seeing a lot of side Bs. Mm -hmm. Snibot getting a little comfortable. Uh, of course, they are playing, they are setting the playing field to their advantage with the E, slowing down Paco. And you know what? I would like to see more neutral B mm -hmm. from Snibot because it does make a slower gameplay for Paco. I agree. Smother some in paint. And he needs that because that's also a damage multiplier. You know, that paint on, that's going to be faster kills. Uh, that you're going to be able to get. And you need faster kills, especially when Paco has been able to get a stock advantage both games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most definitely. Paco with the stock advantage is dangerous. Be Ooh, at, I like that. Deficit but I like Paco. that high recovery, you know? Oh, yeah. Being aware, like, yo, all right, the, the stage, <laughs> the floor is lava right now. So uh, give, give Paco as much control as he needs. But good on uh, Paco also sniping out the landing one more time. And he is looking at a healthy place right now for, uh, for the rest of the winners round one right now oh yeah Paco's looking to secure themselves winners round two at a pretty stacked super land hero tonight very much so so at this point I think most one of the most important parts you know make sure that uh, that uh, Paco bleeds take a stock off and there we go very nice by Snybot landing that fair knocking Paco into the blast zone yeah, finally getting a stock, and you love to see it, my boy, at the sexy percent 69. Let's make some Ooh. magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Gucci said it, said it best. Chocolate hour, baby, you know what it is. Mm -hmm. You already know what it is. We out here. Ooh. Ooh, look at all that damage. Oh, and this ledge trapping. Yeah, that, you love to see it. Follow up. Oh, oh follow and up. yeah, unfortunately, a little slow to it. Yeah, to the follow up. At least a full. Oh, run. and no. Oh. They buffered that. They yeah. buffered that. I'm sure dash. they wanted to land and shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of nerves there, but uh, still good on uh, Snibot. I think uh, in any case, had it been a best of five, Snibot might might have been able to adapt just a little yeah. bit 